This is a Philips Sensio coffee machine. I've had it for a very long time, to the tune of about seven years or so. It was in the original opening sequence for Let's Fix Computers. I famously walk into the shop and turn it on. Unfortunately it's dead. It has served me long and well. So now we must give it farewell in this video. Let's get it on the counter and I'll tell you more about it. So this machine has been a stable workhorse in my shop for many, many years. Um, so it's a, uh, it's a pod machine of sorts uh, in that it takes the Sensio, it's basically a tea bag except with coffee in it instead. But it actually makes a half decent coffee, this thing. Um, I quite like it. You put water in the back using this bit here. It holds, uh, I don't know, it's probably maybe a litre that you can put in there. It'll do two mugs basically, is what I find. It'll do two mugs before you have to fill it up. It could do with a bigger water reserve, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, one of the things I like about this machine is, as I say, it's very easy to use, it's very easy to clean. You can open it up, you can remove the various parts of it, uh, all the parts where the liquid actually flows, and the drip tray, and that all comes out. It's very, very simple. Um, so uh, maintenance is super low, uh, and yeah, it just it's very functional. Um, I use the Sensio Strong coffee bags, and so these things, I can buy four of these bags, so a box of four of these bags for a total of 192 uh, coffee pads on Amazon for approximately £26, which makes it pretty much cheaper than instant coffee, and it actually makes a pretty decent coffee in my opinion. Um, and obviously because it's automated, it's very quick. All you've got to do is just keep the water topped up, slap a bag in there, press the button, and it goes and a coffee comes out. It's brilliant. And what I like to do is these strong ones, normally this would be a bit too strong. It's supposed to be like almost espresso strength. But I've discovered that if you put through, normally for a mug of coffee, you're supposed to use two pads. But with the strong ones, I can use one pad and do the double, uh, the full mug amount. And because it effectively dilutes and starts watering it down because the pad has run out, you end up with actually about a perfect strength coffee from a single pad, which makes it incredibly economical to run. Um, however, these days now, when I turn it on, um, it will warm up, but if you press the button, nothing happens at all. It sounded very sick for quite a long time. It's very noisy. You know, when you start it running, it goes, you know. And uh, there's none of that nice quiet hum that you get from the modern ones. So I think that the uh, the pump in it or the motor or whatever has just seized up and died. So unfortunately, we must put it to rest. And I'm kind of sad about that because I've got three full bags of these things. Um, but um, such is out with the old and in with the new. So uh, what I'll do now, I'm going to bring in the new machine that we're replacing this one with. And I'm very excited about it. So let me grab it. I'll put this. I'll put this one to one side, so we'll have a side by side comparison. So let's just uh, let me see. Let me move that over there. Put that there. Right here we go. Close your eyes and open them when I tell you to. No peeking. I'll I'll be watching. I'll know. Here we go. Here we go. And the new one is drum roll, please. Oh, I've got to position it, a bit's fallen off. Whoppa! Look at that bad boy. So this one, I have to admit, it was not brand new, this one. Um, I picked this up from a man in Havant, which is near Portsmouth, um, for a very agreeable sum of money. And um, yeah, I'm really, really chuffed. This one's going to be absolutely perfect. What I like about it is it's got, you've got a water container on the back that's going to hold, that'll hold about two, uh, about two mugs or so. Um, and it's very easy to clean. You know, the top opens up, you've got the tray, you've got the, uh, the nozzle thing, and then we've got the drip tray and that all comes out all super easy to clean. Um, and the great thing about this one is, is that obviously when running coffee machines like this, they can be quite expensive to run. But the great thing is, is that it takes these coffee pads 
and I can buy a box of four of these for 192 in total for about 26 pounds on Amazon. Uh, and it just so happened that I've got some in stock already. So uh, I can use my existing ones with this. And um, I'm told by the previous owner that uh, you can put just one of the strong pads in, um, press the double button, and it will dilute down to make about a perfect strength one. So very economical to run, and apparently makes a pretty good coffee. So um, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do, I'm going to fill this thing up, get it all plugged in, and we'll take it for a test spin. So uh, let's get this installed in the kitchen and we'll take it for a drive. So the keen-eyed amongst you will probably notice some similarities between this one and the old one. So uh, I don't need to read the instruction manuals to figure this one out, although I do have to operate it one-handed. So let's see if I can do that while watching my phone screen. Get some water in there. Put that in the back. Let's get it turned on. So I don't know how long it's been since this thing was last used, so we'll run an empty through it first, just to get it all rolling again. Let's get out my... I think we'll get out the One Punch Man mug. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's ready. The light has stopped flashing. Let's go. Well, that is just as loud as the old one was, but it works. So we'll let that just flush through just some hot water and then we'll put a coffee bag in it. Good job. That's a fine mug of hot water there with some dust floating in it as well. Okay, let's do the business. I'm going to have to open one of those bags in a minute. It's ready. Hmm. There's some water leakage. I have a suspicion that this second-hand machine is less than perfect. However... Primary objective achieved. It seems to dip down lower than the old one did. I might have to see if any of the parts are interchangeable. I think you get the idea, though. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.